work is based upon relationship between human body and the mind, their inherent interconnection and inevitable occasional disharmony. Uh, I concentrate uh, uh, I concentrate on transference and repetition in art practice as an instrument of overcoming the existential void. So uh, it intention, my intention is to go through some topics uh, that relate to the hidden and invisible aspects of human experience, uh, those that are not always apparent and constitute the entire world of inner mystery that often gives us life and suffering. Uh, my prime reason for wanting to create art is uh, a personal desire, personal desire for self-help, uh, self-expression and understanding. Uh, so I'd like to see that everything that I create is a um, kind of a diary of an emotional struggle. I can say now a little bit uh, about the work that I presented in an art festival. Uh, it's a piece uh, that is made uh, from three different parts. First part is a part of um, uh, it's a it's a picture uh, of a torso that is on the wall. Uh, there is two torsos. One is whole, one is hollow, and the torso is found in the place of nothingness and numbness. The second part is a, a circle made of uh, it's a sculpture circle made of ten thousand uh, paper sheets that were dipped in ink and then carefully. Uh, crumbled by hands and placed in a black wooden circle on the floor. Uh, it's made by 33 layers of paper. Each layer um, was uh, took three hours to build. So over the period of time, it took 66 hours to build a sculpture. And I, I look at it as an um, each layer, a uh, certain period of time, a year, a moment, um, uh, something that passed, an emotion that passed and left behind, and as a reminder of the time that will come. Uh, and the third component of the work uh, is a sound, um, which is uh, uh, put on a loop, so it's a repetitive sound that puts you a little bit in a meditative state, so you can easily... Uh, find yourself in a place where you're more open to confront and go over uh, the emotional state uh, that you find in and hopefully uh, get out of it better way than you came in. So uh, that's a short story about uh, the topic that I was working on last couple of years and hopefully the new one will come. Bye.